In today's video, we are going to be looking at the comparison of the French Bulldog and the Boxer. Let's get started with the video. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Mimi. I'm a canine leader here at FenwickCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect French Bulldogs. So if you're a lifelong French Bulldog lover thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new French Bulldog puppy, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the differences between the French Bulldog and the Boxer. We'll start with a quick look at their remarkable histories. The modern Boxer that we all know can be traced back to Germany in the late 1800s. It's thought to have been bred from the Bullenbeiser, a heavier, larger dog whose name roughly translates to Bullbiter. The Bullenbeiser was the big game hunter in Germany, helping the noblemen to take down prey such as bear, bison and boars. However, the collapse of these noble empires found the breed out of work by 1865, and so the breed was bred with a smaller Mastiff-type dog from England. By the late 1800s, the modern, sleeker boxer was born. From Bullbiter to Boxer, the new name refers to the sparring movement that the breed adopted when playing by defending themselves. Their job titles also evolved from hunting prey. They moved into roles such as cattle dogs, police dogs and even war dogs. They became American Kennel Club registered in 1904 and are still in America's top 10 breeds. Whereas the French Bulldog was popular in the lace making industry hub of Nottingham around 150 years ago. It was from here that this loyal little dog was taken over to France with workers after the collapse of the Industrial Revolution. Their popularity travelled from Normandy to Paris and continued to grow. In France, they became known as the Bulldogs Francais. They're, these lively little dogs made their way into all walks of Parisian life, from cafe owners and rag traders to ladies of the night. The French then became guardians of the breed and cultivated the compact body and straightened legs whilst ridding them of the underbite of the old English Bulldog. Now that we know a little bit about the history of the breeds, let's look into a brief comparison of their strikingly different appearances. The Boxer is a medium-sized dog of good substance, have well-balanced muscles and energetic movements. Males can reach 24 inches at the withers and weigh up to 30 kilograms, whereas the females can get to 22 inches and weigh in at 25 kilograms. Both have a blunt muzzle, not squished like the Frenchie. The breed standard calls for a muzzle that is at least half the length of the skull. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. They have an exceptionally expressive face with bright eyes that convey intelligence. The wrinkled forehead is just full of character. They have a proud chest, well-arched ribs and a long pelvis, which is notably wider in females. The tail can be either docked or natural, a natural boxer tail of a long length and has a relaxed curl towards the tip. The coat is short and easy to manage and comes in two AKC recognised colours, fawn, red or brindle. A flash of white across the chest and on the feet are also common. Now the French Bulldog is almost a world away from the Boxer, its general appearance can be described as compact. They will be no taller than 19 inches at the shoulder and males should weigh no more than 12 kilograms. Females should be no more than 10 kilograms. The French Bulldog Club of England describes them as having no point exaggeration, meaning that they should be the polar opposite of a dash hand. Their skulls are domed with well-developed cheek muscles, a broad jaw and no exaggerated jowls. Even their ears are rounded. Whilst the breed standard calls for stuck-up bat ears, they shouldn't come to a point. Perhaps the most striking feature, or lack of, in a French Bulldog is its muzzle. This breed has a famously short muzzle, making them a brachycephalic breed. 
If you aren't familiar with this term, don't worry, it will be explored more in the health portion of this video. Enough about the aesthetics, we'll now look into the temperament of these two breeds. So, you can't expect the modern day boxer to be overly aggressive enough to take down a bison. Instead, you can expect a playful family dog that will clown about. They're self-assured and dignified, alert and watchful of their home and can be wary of strangers and defensive of their family. They have held on to the intelligence of their ancestors and so they can be a bit of a stubborn dog to train but perseverance is key. Take care to mentally stimulate them enough so they don't get bored. A bored dog is a destructive dog, no matter the breed. Now, similar to the Boxer, the Frenchie is a companion dog through and through. This little dog much prefers the company of people to being isolated. With that being said, if you are precious about sharing your favourite spot on the sofa, this breed isn't for you. Their affection is arguably what has made them one of the most popular breeds today, but it's worth noting that they may become possessive of their owners. As a couple, you can tackle this by training in equal parts and spending as much time with your Frenchie as your partner. When training these little dogs, be prepared to come across an intelligent pet with a stubborn and mischievous side. Due to this, you may need to remind them on occasion where they are in your family pack, but consistent training should reduce the need for that. Time to explore the typical health expectancies from these two bulldogs. Going back to the issue of the muzzle, whilst it isn't typical for a boxer to have a squished appearance like the Frenchie, they are still classed as brachycephalic. If they have a particularly short face, both of these breeds are in danger of needing BOAS, brachycephalus obstructive airway syndrome, surgery if they have difficulty breathing. Other genetic concerns are some cancers, cardiomyopathy, epilepsy and eye conditions. Whilst it's hard as an owner to control these issues, responsible breeders will do their part to best avoid the chance of carrying the genes into future breeds. As previously mentioned, the Frenchie is a brachycephalic breed. This encapsulates all breeds with a shortened muzzle or a flat face. Symptoms of this include laboured breathing, breathing difficulty, stress, heat intolerance and higher risk of asphyxiation pneumonia. It is crucial to be aware of the challenges of owning a brachycephalic dog to ensure you are able to keep your Frenchie's quality of life high. A healthy French Bulldog can be with you for up to 10 to 14 years. With their good ligament strength and compact size, they are at a lower risk of broken bones when they're charging about in boisterous play. Whilst they love a good romp around, they shouldn't be allowed to overly exert themselves. Despite the detriment of their flat faces, the French Bulldog tends to have good skin, good fertility and isn't prone to tumours. This is all dependent on the care, lifestyle and diet your French Bulldog has. But generally speaking, they're hardy little dogs. Now for more on their training and intelligence. A Boxer is an agile, fun-loving dog. This lends them to agility training. They have no strong urge to chase small animals like a sighthound, nor do they use their nose like a spaniel, but they have the intelligence and physical stamina to thrive on an agility course. They respond best to positive reinforcement and words of praise. They can be sensitive to harsh correction, but be wary of their stubborn streak. Start their training from a young age to avoid an unwanted battle of wits. Historically, Frenchies are companion dogs, making them savvy to living harmoniously alongside their humans. But as much as they love to please us, they are stubborn to a fault if left untrained from a young age. Introducing simple commands as puppies will allow them to learn what it means to please you. Like the boxer, they respond well to positive reinforcement and food rewards. Not so much to harsh correction. Whilst you can't expect a dog that rivals those at Crufts, you'd be surprised how intelligent and eager to learn these little dogs are. Consistent training will mean that you can teach your Frenchie tricks throughout their lifetime. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel.